back now on Try It Today, and uh, so proud and, and pleased to have this uh, gentleman with us for a couple reasons. One, because we get to meet for the first time, and the other because uh, Alamance Community College is joining us for a series of, of segments we're going to do over intervening months, and I'm really glad to have them on board. Laurie Bates, our director, let's meet our special guest. Scott Queen is interim vice president of Alamance Community College, and we welcome you to the program. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming up. Thank you. Ohio, by, you know, Alamance by way of Ohio, so we're glad to have yes. you. Um, what's happening at Alamance Community College this fall and why is it important? Well, I think one of the items of greatest significance is that we, um, for the first time, are separating registration from advising. We're rolling out a whole new uh, process in order for uh, students to be able, what, what we're looking at is increasing completion rates, essentially. And so right now, uh, we are encouraging students to apply to the college. We actually won't start uh, registering them for their classes until the first week in November. Right. But we definitely are encouraging them to apply so that they can see career counselors, uh, faculty advisors, so that we can uh, adequately help them select a program of study, uh, get their financial aid in place. Sure. Um, that's that's going to be my next question, too. Is there, you know, some people, some students say, God, I wish I could go to Alamance Community College, but I, I, I'm a little short on cash. Uh, is financial assistance readily available for students? Yes, absolutely. Not only through our financial aid office, but we also have an excellent foundation uh, that works to uh, award scholarships as well. Uh, I don't want to name names, but there have been, you know, reports from around the country that a lot of community colleges and universities are reporting uh, declining enrollments in certain areas. And I'm wondering what's the case with Alamance because I think that uh, Ed or somebody from the university, the, the college, was telling me the other day that, that yours is going up. So uh, help me understand that. Yes, I'm very pleased to say that uh, this semester we are reversing a three-year trend in declining enrollments. Uh, we're up approximately 2.5%. Uh, we're very proud of that. Uh, faculty and staff have really stepped up to the plate. We've increased our advising efforts, our recruiting efforts out in the community, uh, and so forth, and it's really paying off for us. Tell me about the, and maybe this is one reason why, maybe I'm about to answer my own question, but there was something, there was an email that you sent me about, it was called Career and College Promise. What is that? Yes, Career and College Promise is a program um, essentially where high school juniors and seniors are eligible to take college courses in prescribed pathways. Uh, there's a university transfer pathway and there are career technical pathways. So while I'm in, still in high school, I'm a senior, I can take courses at the college? That is correct. And you can take them tuition free, uh, which is also a plus. Wow. So we have actually had, uh, within the last year, we have graduated students from high school and the community college simultaneously. And they've actually been able to go on to their sophomore or junior years at universities such as East Carolina right. and UNC Chapel Hill. And maybe if not East Carolina, maybe they just want to continue on another year at Alamance Community College. They can do that too, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, you're building a new high-tech center. And I don't know anything about it, but I want you to tell me just a few seconds on that. Now, what's the cost and why is it needed? Uh, the Alamance County Commissioners uh, recently approved funding for the $15 million um, Advanced Supply Technology Center. And what this will afford the college the opportunity to do is relocate uh, some of our uh, technical programs, such as automotive, welding, uh, carpentry, computer integrated machining, and heating and air conditioning. Right. Uh, now these, these programs are located uh, essentially in facilities that are over 30 years old. Uh, they're not. Uh, very conducive to a good learning environment, especially when we're trying to train uh, our students for 21st century jobs. Some of the facilities are just not modern. Right. Uh, we were talking before, before we went on the air about something. I think it's just a great success story. We have about a minute left. I want to make sure I save time for this. This is neat. Uh, tell me again that you, you were a student at Alamance Community College. Yes, I was. And that's what led you to this job, right? Absolutely. How so? Uh, well, uh, Probably by accident, uh, to be honest with you. I, I was a computer programming student uh, back in the early 90s. I finished the program, uh, got employed, and uh, the department head called me back about a year later to uh, inquire if I would be interested in teaching a class. I thought about it. Um, long wow. story short, I, I really fell in love with it, uh, ended up joining the faculty full time at some point, and then I have just progress through the ranks. That is just, that's tremendous. Unlike me, I'm a, I was always a poor student. You must have been a great student because they were recruited you and came after you. I just think that's a great success story. And that says a lot about what Alamance Community College is all about, you know, and, and uh, 
working on careers and making, you know, helping people improve yes. quality of life. I just think that's great. Alamance.cc.edu uh, is the website, and that's up on screen. And I hope you will look at that because uh, I'm assuming the website, uh, Scott, will get people to more information about the registration and everything, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so any questions you have on that, you can follow up. Again, it's alamancecc.edu, Alamance Community College. And I hope you'll come back sometime. Absolutely. Thank Thanks you. a lot for all you do. Thank you. All right, sir. We'll be right back after this.